If you are new to the exciting and dynamic world of two-way radios, you may have heard the term LOS bandied about by us radio experts. And as an undocumented radio expert myself, I feel that it is my duty to deconfoculate the meaning of this highly technical term to help make your transition into the two-way radio world as smooth as possible. So think of me not just as your radio dork groomer, but also as your radio dork lube. My friend, in the radio world, LOS does not mean loss of signal. Nay, LOS means line of sight. Line of sight. And this term is used to describe how the radio waves that squirt out of certain types of two-way radios, such as GMRS radios or hams radios operating in the 70 semen eaters band, behave. Because contrary to popular belief, radio waves that come out of these certain types of radios cannot go around or penetrate hills or mountains. And they are easily blocked by things like thick forests or big buildings, and even houses full of fat people. Nor can these radio waves traverse the claimed curvature of the earth. Basically, when a radio expert says line of sight, he or she is saying that if you can see what you want to talk to, you can talk to it. As long as it is referring to another person with a two-way radio that is set to the same frequency as your radio. For example, if I am atop of a very tall mountain, and my very imaginary friend is also on top of a very tall mountain, say 75 miles of fars away, because the peaks of both mountaintops poke above the theoretical curvature of the earth, and because the peaks are also above all other hills and mountains, we would likely still be able to talk to each other, even if we are so far away from each other that we cannot actually see each other. This is because the two radios are still within line of sight of each other. Basically, what I am saying to you right now is that LOS, or line of sight, is just a fancy way of saying that there is nothing between you and the other radio that you want to talk with. 